The next thing that we're going to do is add two buttons to the top right here. One of them is going to be a promotional video, and when you click on it, it'll open up the video in autoplay. And the other one is just going to be another link to the R Work page. All right, so to add the buttons, just click on Customize. All right, then click Header and click Menu. And we're going to move this menu position to the left. Now we can keep it right, and the buttons will just be right next to it, which will look perfectly fine. But I'm going to put the menu to the left and have the buttons on the right, which is a lot more difficult and sort of extra credit. So you definitely don't need this to have a fully working good website. If you just want it to have a great website, just keep these to the right. But if you want to do a little extra credit, all of this has been really easy for you. Then move the position to the left and we're going to make the buttons on the right by adding a tiny bit of code. But it's only if this is all super easy for you. It's definitely not required. All right, now we'll go back and go back again. All right, now we're going to add the buttons. So click Menus and click on Main, then click Add Items. All right, the first button that we're going to make is a custom link because we are adding a YouTube video. So just click on Custom Links. And now we need that YouTube video URL. So let's open up a new tab and go to YouTube.com. And let's just search for a video. I like one called The Mountain. Click on the video and find it. All right, so we're just going to copy the URL up here and press copy. Exit out of here and paste it right here. For the text link, we're just going to type watch the video and press add to menu. All right, so the watch the video link added to the left side and added to our menu, but it doesn't really look like a button, but we'll change that in a second. Next, click on pages and let's click our work again and now add another one to our menu and we can click on it and for navigation label I'm just going to capitalize it but again that still doesn't look like a button but we'll change that in a second and to change it just click the arrow down and for a CSS class we're going to type in btn and CSS basically styles your website and this is a special class this adds some code to it in order to make it look like a button. So we type BTN and we wait and we can see that that looks more like a button and that looks pretty cool. And we could do the same thing with the R work page. If we click on the arrow down for CSS class, we put BTN and we have our button. So that looks pretty cool. So if you imagine that your menu was floating to the right, was on the right side, instead of the left, you can see that that would look great and perfect for your website. But if you're like me, a little bit crazy, and you want your website just to have that extra little touch, we're gonna have the menu on the left side and the buttons on the right side, and we're gonna style the buttons a little bit different. But in order to do that, we have to add some code. So we're gonna do that in a little while, but for now we're just gonna press save and publish, and we are going to exit out of there. All right, so that looks pretty good, but if we click the watch the video button, it's just gonna jump to the YouTube page and take the user off of our page, which is not what we want. We want the user to stay on our page. So let's go back, and how do we make it so that this watch the video is a pop-up and the people stay on our page? All right, so in order to do that, we need a plugin. So let's go to the dashboard. All right, then click on plugins and click add new. Search plugins, and for this, we're gonna search WP Video Lightbox and we're gonna press install now. Then it's gonna install, and then we're gonna click activate to activate the plugin. And we can scroll down and hover over settings and click video light box. Then click pretty photo. And for opacity, we want it to be 0.1 because the opacity will make it, if it's 0.8, it will make it really dark in the background, but we don't want it to be really dark in the background when the video pops up. We want it to be almost see-through, but of course you can do whatever you want. Then for default width, I'm just going to make it bigger. I'm going to make it 1200 by 675. And it's probably good to keep it in a 16 by 9 ratio because that's the size of the YouTube video. So 1200 by 675 is in that ratio. And then for autoplay, automatically start video. We're going to check it off so that it automatically starts the video. And we're going to click Save Changes. Then let's click Visit Site and it still won't work right here if we click on it. And that's because we need to add some code to our button. So let's go back 
and let's click customize, click menu, then click on main or whatever you named it. Then under watch the video, we're gonna click on it. And under link relationship, we are going to type wp-video-lightbox. And that will give it the proper code in order for it to work. So we're gonna press save and publish, exit out of there and click on it and wha-bam, it works. And we can also scroll down here and the video will keep on playing and scroll up and the video will keep on playing. All right, so that is looking pretty sweet. Really like that. And we could just click off the video to exit out or press the exit button. And that is looking really cool.